Well, hello there, friends. My version of a smash burger. Oh, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're doing it right now together. Smash burger. Okay, friends, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make the sauce. I'm not gonna reinvent anything, that's the way I love it. It's really simple. Little mayonnaise in there, you can make your own. You got a recipe we made on the channel. Little bit of ketchup. You can put as much or as little as you want. That's the whole idea, you know, we're not measuring anything here, friends. A little hot sauce right there. I'm gonna put a little bit of chopped parsley. And I'm gonna put a little bit, little bit, I mean, very, very little garlic. I don't need a lot, just a little bit of garlic. Put as much as you want. And you know what I love to do, friends? I love to put a little bit of the juice that come with a, with a pickle. Just a little bit, like, oop, that's it. Just a little bit of the juice comes with a pickle. And then, oh, we can put a little more ketchup in here. I need a little more color in there. And a little more flavor ketchup. Remember, that's something you do. You test, my friends. You, you see if you like it. What do you think, a little more? This is delicious. You can put some chopped chalots in there too if you got them. So nothing wrong with that. Very, very finely chopped. And you know what I like to do? Don't tell anybody, okay? And you certainly don't need to do that, especially for those that don't drink. A little bit of cognac. Like, I mean, like, a look, look, look. Oop, that's it. A few drops of cognac. <laughs> Trust me, friends. It brings it to a whole different dimension. All right? So now we got our sauce. We are done. We don't need to worry about it. We'll get to it later. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm certainly going to get out of the norm for, you know, I don't like to do standard stuff. I like to kind of make it my own. So for those of you that make it the same way for a long time, you're not going to think it's the right way to do it. It's my way of doing it. And I love it that way. So I hope you try it because every time I've seen or oh, I've had a, a, a smash burger. Eh, it's nice, no question about it. It's delicious. But I found it, then we lost a lot of the juice of the meat. Of course you lost a little juice. You take that meat, imagine, and you squeeze it to death. Imagine if you did this to a steak. You take a steak and you squeeze it to death on your cutting board, you lose all that precious juices. You wanna do it that way? You go ahead and do it that way. I don't like it that way. I actually like it smashed before, and then I get my caramelization. And if you don't think you can get caramelization, stick around, friends. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of caramelized onion, and for this, I'm gonna use my regular butter. And uh, I got the onion cut very, very thin, you see? Very, very thin. And uh, you've probably seen the video now how to chop the vegetables. This is what it is, very thin, very thin. If you haven't seen that video, friends, the new one will release, you gotta check it out. All right, so we're gonna do the, we're gonna put the onion in the fry pan. And this is where I am going to have a revolution on my hand. I'm gonna do the smash burger in a fry pan. You don't wanna do it in a fry pan? Don't do it in a fry pan, do it in a griddle. Not everybody got one of those, but if you want to do it in there, I'm going to show you a different way of doing it. Okay, so let's put the onion in there. Let's make sure the butter is hot. Yes, let's put the onion. Slice very thin. We're going to let them give some color. Huh? A little caramelization in there, that'll be great. Let me get to the meat, friends. What I like to do for the meat, I do ground, ground chuck, uh, um, chuck roast right, that I grind, and I also like to add beautiful short ribs. Beautiful short ribs. What I do is very simple. I got the grinder. And, and here we have it. Now if I leave the meat for a while, it oxidizes, it changes color a little bit, but it's okay. This is beautiful and fresh. And what I like to do is I like to make a, a bowl. I don't want to ma manipulate it too much. I don't like to manipulate it too much. Um, if you have a scale, you should do them about three, three ounces. If you don't have a scale, get yourself an ice cream scoop. Otherwise, put it on the scale, you got three ounces. 
Really simple. You get yourself a bowl. You take a piece of parchment paper. You put it, another one on top, friends. And let me wash my hand real quick. And then you smash it. And you're gonna say, really? Yes. Trust me, my friends. You wanna do it nice and even. Do it with something really nicely flat like this. And you wanna put an even pressure. Even pressure, friends. So then you have it evenly smashed. So now, when we put it in a pan, my friends, we're not gonna lose any juices. That's the whole idea of doing it this way. That's why I'm doing it this way. Because I don't wanna lose any juices. Think about it, right? You wanna, and oh, oh, and you know what I like to do? I like to keep them cold after I make the balls like this. I keep them cold and then I, so they fit. And don't press it too much. You don't need to. I got those nice, ready to go. You see on a piece of paper, as soon as my grill is hot, I am going to put, let me get myself a tongue so I don't burn my hands. As soon as my grill is hot, we're gonna keep an eye on Rosonio. We're gonna put the, um, check it out. It's not quite hot enough, but we're gonna do it. You got the butter in there, we can just go, put them in there, we'll just keep an eye on them, okay? We'll just keep an eye on it. In the meantime, we're gonna take our burger, then I already smashed. You're gonna see, you try. Try my way one time, friends. You may never again smash your burger on the pan, unless you like to squeeze the juice out of it. <laughs> then you do it however you wanna do it, friends. Hey, this is what it's all about. I'm gonna put salt and pepper, I like a little crushed black pepper. We're gonna put a little salt. And then we're gonna put them in a pan and we're gonna get that beautiful caramelization, the Maillard reaction. Let me put this, oh no, I gotta keep this so I don't forget to put them in. So we're gonna get that beautiful Maillard reaction, caramelization of protein and creates all of that flavor, friends. Very important and we hot when we put it in. We are hot. We go in, put it in, don't touch it. Oh, I didn't tell you, friends, I put clarified butter in there, if you have it, in the pan. If you don't have clarified butter, use a good cooking oil. Don't use regular butter because it'll burn for sure. Your butter is gonna burn for sure, my friends. All right, so, how are we doing with this? It's not there yet. You know, let me turn the heat on the grill a little bit more. And uh, hopefully by the time I'm done, we'll have a nice toasted bun. And I got also, my cheese that I gotta get. And I gotta get also my lettuce and my tomatoes. See, I got all my mise en place ready to go here. And now let's see how we're doing here. I got myself a nice spatula. How we doing here? This thing is uh, it's not really cooking that hard, is it? Get going, would you please get with the program? So that. <laughs> We continue sauteing the onion, and really I'm not gonna do much with the onion, friends. We're just gonna saute, we're not making a caramelized onion, but you know, we made a video on caramelized onion. If you have a time, one time, you wanna try to make them, it's an amazing video, right over there. You gotta try, friends. Oh, you know, let me not forget to put a quick little salt and pepper on that side as well. Quick salt and pepper, here's my salt. Voila. And it's looking good. Let's see what we got here. We haven't lost any juices. And it's cooking, cooking in clarified butter. Look at this, see? That's the way I like it. And also another thing, friends, I don't like it cremated. Now American cheese, I've learned, is cheese. Cheddar, cheese, and Monterey Jack mixed together with an emulsifier. It's cheese. Who knows for us? All this time, I used to tell people, that's not cheese. You guys are not eating cheese. It is cheese. Yeah, it's really interesting. In fact, there's some video online, guys, and a scientist, uh, cheese makers, they studied it carefully. I watched it a couple of them. And uh, you know, I put a link in it for you guys to watch it, how they make American cheese. Fascinating, it really is. So now look, guys, we're gonna take it right there. We're gonna take this guy, we're gonna put it on top. Yeah, 
So we got a burger coming, friends. As soon as that bread decides to toast correctly, you can also, that's it, I'm done. I don't want to overcook it. You do it however you want, my friends. I do not want to overcook it. That's really a matter of opinion at this point. No right, no wrong. Some people like it well done. Oh, the bread is finally waking up, friend. The griddle is finally waking up. We're not exactly the perfect, but we're doing okay here. Let's take the burgers out of there, friends. I don't want to cook it any more than I have to. I'm going to hold it right here. All right? So now, the caramelized doño, they're not as caramelized as I would like them, but I think they're going to be fine. You can put a little bit of balsamic vinegar in there, too, if you want. It's up to you. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of balsamic vinegar now. It'll take them a whole different level. All right, now look, guys. I got my burger, I got my here, I got my lettuce leaf, and you know what I do is I take a cookie cutter and I cut them, the leaves. So this one is a little too big. Hey, you, come back over here. I guess they unfolded, that's what happened. So then my, uh, my lettuce leaf is not too bad. Oh, you know what I did? I forgot my sauce. I make a sauce and I forget it. Mamma mia. One day I, know what I, I don't know what I'm gonna forget. Okay, I don't wanna have to worry about the onion. We're gonna leave him here. We're gonna put a little bit of the sauce, friends. And we don't wanna to put too much. It's really up to you how much you put in, right? And I wanna make it nice. It doesn't have to be sloppy. You know, I see some burgers, you know what? So I don't forget, I'm gonna put it on the other side too. It doesn't have to be sloppy. You know, you see so many people, they make it in the sloppy looking. I don't like a sloppy. Not because it's a smash burger and it's gotta be sloppy looking, right? So we're gonna put the, um, the lettuce here. We've got beautiful tomatoes. <laughs> beautiful is uh, it's kind of an overstatement for the tomato we got in Florida. <laughs> and then we're gonna put a, a burger right here, friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I like to do? I like to put a little more of the black pepper. And I'm gonna put my caramelized onion right there, friends. Right there. Put as much or as little as you want. No, no, now we're talking. Now we're talking, my friend. Now we're talking, you see? Yeah. No burn now. Actually, burn onion tastes good, right? And then we're gonna put a top there, forget anything. Oh, mamma mia. You can put a pickle if you want. I don't like pickles. <laughs> People are gonna go, what, you don't like pickles? I don't really like them. You can put it, I like the juice in the sauce, but I don't really care for the pickle. Eh, eh, and voila, my friends. This is my smash burger, and I promise you, we didn't lose one ounce of the, of the juice of the meat. So now, I'm gonna take a piece of it. But I'm not gonna be a, a slab. I'm gonna cut a piece of it so we can smash it. Of course it's gonna be nice. Look at this, is that gorgeous? Of course it's gonna be nice. But I'm gonna be nice about it. I'm gonna cut it in half with a guy. You don't cut it in half, you're supposed to buy it on it. I know. Look at this. You, you like it, friends? Look at this. Look at this. Is that gorgeous? Hope you can see it. Beautiful. This is going to be delicious. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 My friends. Mm. I hope you make it. Mm. Thanks for watching. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next couple of days on a fantastic video. I had a great time. I hope you did it too. And make sure you make it.